After the lift apocalypse that was the post Tokyo Olympic era, lifters are back in a big way. Weightlifting is back in a big way. We had, I think, four, maybe more unofficial world records over the last week. Everyone is back out in the build up for the world championships. It's a phenomenal episode, so make sure you stick around. <laughs> Now, I'm going to have to mention it because, well, it's a bit obvious. We've got all of this stuff here. What's going on? The Weightlifting House champion, you know the champion brand. You've all seen it, this bad boy here. Uh, the college drop, this college-style looking uh, clothing is live right now. We've been working on this for God knows months at this point, trying to get it right, trying to make sure that we have the best apparel line that we've ever done in this, in this sort of sense. Uh, it's limited edition. It's limited quantity. It's probably only going to last... I would imagine about a week before it's all sold out uh, and it's you know it's the coolest t-shirts and, and sweatshirts by far that we've ever done so if you're interested hit the link down below i will get to the lifting so quickly but nick will kill me if i don't mention this uh the weightlifting house calendar came out last week 12 incredible photos you might be able to see some of them there uh just as i show you but six of the top men and women throughout history uh, and some of the most amazing moments. It's also got some dates of the weightlifters that you need to know about in there for you. So let's kick things off with the biggest outlier in weightlifting that we have in any category. It's, it's not last year, it's actually Lee Wen Wen. By far has the highest percentage over the people that she competes against. I don't know if this is a new video, but it was posted a 170 kilo clean and jerk. It had the caption, you know, she's Olympic champion, world record holder in both lifts, world champion at 21. What else can she do? Well, you know, I'm no weightlifting historian, but she could try and beat Tatiana's best ever snatches and clean and jerks at all-time women's world records, 155, 193. If she does that, she's officially goated. Until then, she's there is something else that she could do. Over now to Taipei, we have Kuo Sing Chun, who was just on the front cover of Vogue, actually, which is kind of cool. It's rare that we see weightlifters get that level of mainstream attention, I suppose. She just hit a 125 kilo power-ish clean pow. It was definitely trying to be a power. It wasn't a clean pow. We'll call that power clean and power jerk. So that is just shy of 90% of her best. It would have actually won at the Olympics. Obviously, she beat that, but it's still more than anybody else hit at the Olympics. So... Um, easy for her. Okay, so next we come to the first of the world records. This obviously unofficial from South Korea. 176 kilo block snatch by Kim Woo Jae. That's one kilo over Lee Dae-in's world record 175. Obviously it was Ehab at no, it was Lou at 72, Ehab at 73, Lou at 74, Lee Dae-in at 75. Uh, this isn't from the floor, but still, it's very, very impressive. That lift was actually recommended to me. We have a, a fan-made Weightlifting House Discord and people are putting lifts on there, which is kind of cool. You can actually get to that through the Patreon if you're interested. Uh, but that's where I found out about that lift and some of these other ones. Let's stick with South Korea quickly. We have Jin Yun Song, who he hit a 180, 223. I'm not sure if he's still 109 from the Olympics or he's back down to 102 where he, he won that silver medal at the World Champs back in 2019. His teammate, uh, Yon Hak Jang, did write in the comments 109. I could just see those numbers. I don't know what else was said, so I'm going to assume that he is a 109 still. But, I mean, that's great. It beats his 180, 220 from Tokyo, so he's in good shape coming into Worlds. Okay, here's world record number two. This one also recommended to me via Discord. Now, this is on TikTok. I don't know the name of this person. Uh, the guy who messaged me about it said that his name was Nez Nontapat, but I've never found anything like that name online. I don't recognize it, so I'm not going to commit to that. He is an 81 kilo weightlifter, and he just jerked 210 kilos. That's three kilos over Lu Zhaozhen's world record, and it's a fast, dirty fight of a lift. Absolutely wonderful. Such a great, such a great lift. Uh, so that definitely had to go in. If you know who that is, comment down below because I am genuinely need to know who this person is. Okay, we have to talk about Kazakhstan. If I didn't talk about Kazakhstan, I think Owen from Seeker would, would kill me because he's really big into these guys too. He's always sending me these lifts. We're going to start off. We've got two people we want to go through. We've got Artyom Antropov and then we've got Nagisa Adilatili. So Artyom Antropov, uh, October 17th, he hit 215 kilos in the cleaner jerk. And the jerk was so easy, it went so high, he almost had to step together in order to have the adequate height to just reach the bar because he drove it so high, it was unreal. Then he's got a 170 snatch, which is 
it's pretty big for a 102, but it's not it's not on the level of his cleaning jerk. Then in training he hit 220, uh, and then he hit a different 220 where he double bounced uh, and still stood up easily. I mean he front squats 281, uh, and then finally again he hit 220 kilos another time. That was the easiest of them all. I think he's probably got 230 kilos at a push at the World Championships, which at 102 should win. World records, world standards, 231. So I think he could give it a go. And then over to the, the lighter Kazakh, we have Nagisa Adilatuli. He was an 89 kilo lifter at the Asian Championships. You might remember that he lost to Kino Shustami uh, by a kilo in the total. He's now moved up to 96. Uh, he just snatched 180 kilos, which as we know is the You've got the 170 barrier and the 96s, which shows that you're a session elite. And you've got the 180 barrier, which three weightlifters have crossed in this new 96 kilo category. Or is it four? I think it's four now because Bodhi did it. Uh, so he hasn't crossed it in competition, but he's close and he's young too. He also then hit a 215 kilo clean and jerk. And the speed and precision of the, of the footwork in that jerk was majestic. But 395 total. Not many weightlifters are over 400, very few, and he's pushing up against that. So very excited to see how Adilatuli does at Worlds, if he's there, I assume he is. Okay, we're going to go over now to Uzbekistan. Uh, Ruslan Nuridinov, obviously the 2016 Olympic champion, current world record holder in the clean jerk, 241. Uh, he just hit 194, 231 in competition, uh, so he seems to be ramping up well. I think that 109 category is a new 96 kilo category. It's so tremendously exciting. You've got you've got the three world records, snatch clean jerk total, held by three separate weightlifters. The Olympic champion isn't even one of them. So you have these four people who are clearly so high level that they've you know three world records, Olympic champion. Amazing, we've got Yang Zhe, who won't be at Worlds because he wasn't selected for China. He's got the Snatch World Record at 200. Clean and Jerk is Razan Rodinov, the, the total is Simon Martirosian. And we've got Akbar Jiraev, who's the Olympic champion. So it's, it's going to be amazing. We've had such great battles in that sort of category. We had the great Snatch World Record, World Record, World Record of 2019. We had the 2011 battle between Akayev and and Klokov. We had the 2014 three world records in three minutes. It's a great category and it's I think it's peaking. I think it's peaking. Now speaking of Jirai, we've got some more world records. These were lifts from pre-Tokyo. Um, we have a 200 kilo snatch. Actually no that's not a world record. Okay ignore that. It's a huge lift though. 242 kilo cleaner jerk. Let's pull that one up because that's definitely worth looking at. This 242 kilos is one kilo over his teammate, Ruslan Nurudinov's world record, that's probably why he did it. It's probably an all-time PR for him, and it looked great. So, I think that my money is on Jiraev, if the three of them are there. Not including Yangshu, but my money's on Akbar Jiraev. I do, however, think that a 3-for-3 three three Ruslan in the snatch is an undefeatable Ruslan Nurudinov. So, but I don't think he'll go 3-for-3. Three three. So that's my prediction for now. Next, we're going to head over to Kurdistan. We don't go to Kurdistan a lot. We have Bekdulat Razulbakov, 96 kilo weightlifter. He did 178 in snatch in competition. He then did, it was sent to me as a 210, but his coach says it's 220. I'm inclined to believe his coach. I think we've got three reds, a yellow, a five, and then a 2.5 in a collar. So I think it's 220. So 178, 220, pretty damn big. He also did a 222 kilo front squat plus jerk, uh, which is pretty nasty. So huge lifting from him. Moving on next, we have Lasher from Georgia. But before we do that, I got a gift for Nick, my coworker, who some of you will have seen at the back of some of these videos. A couple of weeks ago, I sent a message to Manscaped, who've been sponsoring the Weightlifting House news show recently. I said to them, I need some more Manscaped stuff for my boy Nick. So they sent me a package. Here it is. I don't know what's in it, but we're going to find out. Nick. All right, Nick is hating everything about this. It's Nick, terrible. I messaged Manscaped. I said yeah. I wanted a gift for you. Oh, God. That's what this is. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Oh, God. Come on, whip it up so people can see. Oh, you've got the ball toner. Nice. Anti-chafing. Jeez, the box of briefs. Let's go. Lawnmower no, 4.0. Lawnmower, yeah. There we go. With, I imagine, battery right out of the bat. Look at that. Nice. This is what you get if you work at Weightlifting House. Yeah. Okay, so that's the stand. Oh god. 
<laughs> Let me pile this on you, then you can leave. <laughs> oh god. What's, what are these for? Just if you want a bit of a... Yeah, a longer a long trim. Cut. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way down, guys, fellas. You have a bit of a front garden still. Boxes, you'll be in them tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, cheers, Nick. Okay. Alright, away. <laughs> so, if you want to be like Nick and you want to keep everything nice and trimmed, then go check out our friends at Manscaped. Use code HOUSE20 for 20% off. That is code HOUSE20 for 20% off your Manscaped goods. Your balls will thank you. Back to the show. So over in Georgia, we haven't seen a lot from Lasher, obviously since he, he won the Olympics again. Uh, we've just seen a video posted by his physio, Dr. Georgie, 210 kilos in the snatch uh, and 240 kilos in the cleaner jack. That's 93.33 recurring percent of his best snatch, if we can assume that 225 is his best snatch. Um, he may have done more. It's the most that we've seen. There is rumors of him having snatched 227 or 230 off blocks. I don't know if that's true. I don't really feel like we've seen much of Lasher off blocks, it might be true, but it's about 93% of his best snatch, so exciting things from Lasher. Over now to Romania, this one's really impressive, we've got obviously Loredana Toma, who else we're going to be talking about if we're in Romania. She just hit a 110 kilo snatch dub. Uh, now her best ever competition snatch is 114 kilos, she did that at the European Champs 2021, she snatched 113 in Rome, which I filmed, that was great. Uh, she snatched 116 in training. That's her best ever training PR. Um, so 110 for a double. I mean, two, 117 is a world record by Deng Wei from China. So 110 double. I mean, you're doubling 94% of the world record at this point, which is crazy. But we're not going to see her at Worlds, are we? Because Romania is still banned. They, I think they're banned until the Continentals. I don't know whether they'll make the Continentals or not, but they're banned. I think they're banned. I don't think we're seeing Toma. Okay, over now to Moldova, we have one of my favorite lifters. It is Robu Stanky Leg Morin, who recently followed me on Instagram, which made me feel so good. If you want to see behind the scenes weightlifting house stuff, then Seb underscore Ostrovich on Instagram. He just hit a world record, unofficial world record jerk by 12 kilos. 210 kilo jerk at 73. I mean, the world record is Shizu Yong 198. Obviously, he hasn't cleaned it. Can he clean it? Who knows? Certainly can't clean 210, I wouldn't have thought. Can he clean 199 world record? Maybe. If he does, can he jerk it? Maybe. But 210 jerk at 73. I mean, well, he's nine kilos off triple body weight. He probably weighs heavy. Even so, filthy. He then went and snatched 168, which is a huge PR. Obviously, these are all training lifts. And that is one kilo under the world record, 169 by Shizu Yong. Uh, nobody else other than him and she can hit these sorts of numbers. So this is really exciting to have a weightlifter who's actually rivaling uh, someone who is such an outlier in, in their respective category. Quickly over now to Armenia, we have Hakob Kritchen, the 89 the, uh, world champion, two times? Two time world champion. He just hit 200 kilos for a clean front squat jerk. Uh, and what's nice about this, obviously it's a great lift, but you can see Gormanassian and Lalian, what's his first name? Lalian, the new super, uh, who's wonderful, love watching the lift, in the background, looking big in the middle of a training session. So they are clearly going to be the world champs, which is nice because we haven't seen, we haven't seen Gore since, have we seen Gore since he snatched 217? I don't think we have. We desperately need to see him and we need to see what's going on with Lalian. Over now to Italy, we have someone who... Uh, should have been in the fastest lift videos that I've done twice now. He should absolutely have been in there, but I kept him out. Well, I don't know if I purposely kept him out, but he's not in it. People didn't mention his name, so he didn't go in. Oscar Martinez, phenomenal weightlifter. Uh, nice guy as well. I've, I've spoken to him before uh, in, in Rome. We had a chat about his lifting and everything. 150 kilo hang snatch double. The first rep is a power. Uh, and I don't know what weight category is, because he, he recently weighed 77. He was 73. Recently 77, I'm going to assume that he's not going up to 81. So at 73, uh, yeah, that's that's massive. Also, a quick reminder, the Weightlifting House champion uh, clothing is now live. And once it's sold out, it's out. I would say probably if you're a medium or large, be quick. If you're not, you're probably okay for a good week. But we'll see. Okay, quickly to the Netherlands, because I don't think I mentioned this when it happened. Uh, my boy Enzo Corgi, one of the strongest young 
weightlifters in the world. He power cleaned 210 kilos to win the European Junior Championships. He's 20 years old. He's 161 kilos. So, yeah. Over in Canada, and I just saw this before I started recording, I had to stick it in the show. Alex Bellamar, wonderful guy, wonderful weightlifter, 81 kilo, with some quick, close to power snatches, to be honest. 135, 138, 141. I messaged him and said, dude, you're looking fast right now. Uh, he looks great. So he's in shape, he's training. Uh, I expect that we're going to see him at the World Championships because it is the Commonwealth Games qualifier as well. So. He'll need to be there if he wants to qualify for the Commonwealth Games, which are here in my home city right now. So that's going to be fun next summer. Okay, over to the USA quickly. Three lifters. The first I've never mentioned before, Katie Estep. She's 17. She's a 55. She set two, I think it was two, youth world records last month in October at 89.109. Um, and then the reason I mentioned her this week is because she just jerked a ridiculous 117 kilos. She's 17. She's a 55. I know what 117 feels like racked here to go overhead. I'm it's heavy. <laughs> like I can't believe that you can do that. It's unreal. So shout out to Katie a step for that. Next we have Kate Nye, who is looking to be back in shape. Her legs certainly in shape. She had 170 tempo on the way down the eccentric. Probably a two, three second eccentric with a pause and then back up. So it was like a three, one, zero tempo squat, 170, which is big. She then hit 104 snatch, 106 snatch, 110 block snatch, a nice easy 130 clean and jerk. So she heads out to Pan Ams in a couple of days looking to, uh, yeah, lift well there. And then finally from the USA, I kind of got to mention my boy Nathan Damron because he is looking great. I recently spoke yeah. to his coach, Dave Spitz of Cal Strength. Dave said that they're basically, they're actively holding him back. Like every bit of volume, every lift that they throw at him, he's just eating it. He's just getting through it. He's just capable of more. They're trying to hold him back because he could just run away with this and they don't want him to get hurt, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how he does at upcoming competitions. He just went 168.203 last week. And then two lifts before we have the people's lifts uh, in which we're going to see the save of the decade. So that's still to come. So over in Colombia, we have Francisco Mosquera at 61, who just hit a 170 kilo clean and jerk. Such a unit, stands it up so nicely, locks out overhead so quick. Now the world record is 174 by Echo Yuli Irawan, so just four kilos below that. And then finally, we've worked our way through, we went Asia, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, North America, South America. Now we're just gonna be back in Africa, in Egypt. So, Mohamed Ihab, 202 kilo, very fast block clean PR. Uh, that's a big lift, that's basically right around his best ever clean and jerk. He also snatched 162, his best, obviously, competition snatch with 173 world record back in 2018. I think he will be back at the World Championships because I believe the, the Egyptian ban is now over. So, that's really exciting. And that's also everything for the main section of this week's episode of the Weightlifting House News Show. I hope you enjoyed it. We still do have the people's lifts, but I got to remind you all, Manscaped, 20% off, it's code HOUSE20, and then the House College Drop, working with uh, Champion to bring some just really sick sweatshirts, t-shirts. We do have, um, as you can see, uh, crop tops as well. Uh, I'm not going to be putting those on and modeling them, so that's why you haven't seen much of them, but we have those available also. Okay, so let's look at some people's lifts. The first one we're going to look at is Arnin95, A-R-N-I-N-N-95, -N 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 save of the decade. And by save of the decade, I don't mean best save of the last 10 years, I mean best save of the 2020s, so we're, you know, we're two years in, so you know, calm down to some degree, but still unreal. 135 kilo clean split jerk into squat jerk. Very similar to that really famous one that I posted on the best clean jerk saves ever video on YouTube four, five, six months ago, uh, where the guy catches it and then drops down into the squat jerk. It's pretty amazing. Uh, he does this here too at 135. It's unreal. He deserves a follow. So go follow Arnen95 on Instagram. Next we have what might be the heaviest snatch ever in a people's lifts. Uh, Alejandro Medina, Medina underscore Island on Instagram. I've been following him. I'm not joking you. I think I've been following him since since I was better than him, which is a long time ago. I think I used to outlift him. I started following him because we were a similar sort of, I think he was like a 110 snatcher or something. And I was like, yeah, he, he's good. And he just snatched 180, 180 off blocks. 
like absolute freak athlete amazing got such potential in the sport trains down in florida i believe uh, so just sickening but also just so funny that like there was a period in my life where i thought i might be better than this guy <laughs> it's just not even close uh, go follow uh, Alejandro Medina at Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A underscore island spell, as you would spell an island. Next we have Thomas Donahue, who posted uh, the Barbell Ballerina, at the Barbell Ballerina. I guess he coaches her. His Instagram, H-D-A-C underscore H-F. She is the Barbell Ballerina. Um, she just snatched 67 kilos, and then she's sort of like ballerinas all around with some spins. She's really excited and happy about it. Uh, just so much passion and then again 87 kilo clean and jerk spins all around cleans 89 misses the jerk but it's just like the the passion and excitement and happiness behind those big lifts is just so great and refreshing to see i just loved it so go follow at the barbell ballerina but then also follow her coach thomas donahue hdac underscore hf on ig and then we have one final lift uh, zach chapman at simply strong dot period weight lift um I have been, I know of Zach for a long time because I see him buy lots of our stuff, which is awesome. And then I saw him lifting uh, in this video, weightlifting house tights, weightlifting house belt, weightlifting house t-shirt, weightlifting house flag. Uh, and he's losing weight and lifting more. It looks like it's around 120 kilos. I don't know. There wasn't a number on the post, but it looks like a 20 and three tens on each side. So 120. Um, officially, I'm going to call that the people's platform because he is lifting in all of the people's clothing and i love it so shout out to zach go follow zach at simply strong dot weightlift on instagram that's absolutely everything the link to purchase anything from the weightlifting house college champion drop is down below stock won't last forever this is limited edition uh limited quantity so if you want to get involved in it you know what to do hugely appreciate you tuning in and uh catch you next time